how to use doodle scheduling tutorial for beginners hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with doodle to manage your time and schedule appointments so doodle is an online tool that allows you to make scheduling a whole lot easier from your meetings to your collaborations to appointments it can be super easy to coordinate everything as an individual team or even as an enterprise using doodle now to get started with doodle simply head on over to doodle.com and click on sign up on the top right from here you are going to put in your email address like so or you can proceed with google apple facebook or microsoft I'm going to sign up with Google just to make it a bit quicker and just click on continue or just put in your information like your email address, agree to Doodle's terms, and then complete your full name. Once you do that, you can click on create account to create your account on Doodle. Now, once you do that, you will be able to see whether or not you want to connect to your pre-existing calendars with Doodle. Now, this is just going to make it a bit more easier for you to sync up all of your scheduled events. So if you're already using Google or the Microsoft 365 calendars or the iCloud calendar to schedule in your events, I recommend connecting those calendars. But I am not, so I'm going to click on do it later and you can later on connect these calendars to your Doodle calendar. This will make it easier just in case your personal things that your you know personal appointments are written on Google and then if you're using Doodle professionally it will help you in ensuring that there are no overlaps between the appointments you have created. After that you are going to add your role at work as well as the type of industry that you are working in. After that you are going to just click on finish on the bottom and once you've done that it will proceed with the next step. Now you can proceed directly into your dashboard by clicking on go to dashboard, or you can create the types of events or bookings that people can have with you. So you will see that there are multiple different types of bookings that you can create. Either it could be a group poll, it could be one-on-one -on -one meetings, it could be a booking page, or even a sign-up sheet. So with a group poll, you can choose your times and let people vote and find the best option that suits everyone. This is usually used in situations where you're just trying to find a good time for a meeting or for a conference or a meetup. Then if you want, you can ask someone to pick a specific time from a list of times you've selected, which is called one-on-one. -on -one. Then you can even create your own appointment or booking schedule using their booking page. Now for this, you also have a sign up sheet where you can create multiple different events and let people sign up to that particular event that is happening. So firstly, I'm going to create my booking page because I want to be able to schedule in appointments for my work day. So currently we haven't connected any calendar and I'm just going to click on connect calendar and I'll just connect my Google calendar to make it easier to set up my appointments. Now over here, I'm just going to click on connect and I'm going to select my Google account. And once you've done that, it's time to actually set up your booking page. So you can give your booking page a particular name. So let's say the title for my booking page is going to be Lily's schedule or Lily's appointment booking like so then after that you can provide a description so what type of bookings you are taking uh what is this for you can add that then you can add your location as well as video conferencing if that is going to be available after that you can add your event duration so let's say for my bookings i primarily take 30 minute bookings and you can choose a period of rolling days so i only want to set meetings two weeks into the future. I don't want any meetings further than that. Then after that, you can choose when can participants book you. You can set your hourly as well as daily availabilities. You will see, let's say I only take bookings from Wednesday to Friday. And then after that, I can click on edit and I can add a interval. So let's say I take bookings from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then let's say after 12 p.m., I don't take any booking so I'll just save this 
and I'm going to apply this to all of my days. But let's say on Wednesdays, I take appointments from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. as well. So I can click on edit and then from here, click on add interval. Then I can add my second interval. Let's say that is going to be from 12 p.m. And then we're going to add 5 p.m. as our ending time and then 2 p.m. as our starting time. And then I can click on save and then I can add these timings. After that, you can also choose to collect payments from participants if you are using this as your primary booking tool. Then you also can connect calendar so it will help you in managing your availability. Then you can also send out reminders for the participants, especially if you are uh, ensuring that your time is booked fully. You don't want any type of appointments where you don't have anything to do because your client or the person you were, you were supposed to meet up with was a no-show. You can send out reminders as well, so you can enable booking reminders. Then you can also send out custom invite fields. So you can show the answers in uh, created calendar events where they are going to be required to add their email, add their name. Let's say I also want to add something else. Let's say I also want to ask their gender and then I can, you know, add other options as well. So over here, I have gender as a required field as well. Once done, you can scroll down and you can see these are all the sections you're going to design for Doodle. Then just click on create and share on the bottom right. And just like that, your appointment booking schedule is now available. Click on preview over here to preview what it's going to look like. So you guys can see the availabilities, the hours that are available, and then people can select the time that they want. So once completed, you can just click on share invite and then you can open up a new tab. And this is what your full appointment booking page is going to look like. Now with Doodle, one thing to note is that because this is a free tool, if you're using this for free, you are going to see ads that are going to be placed alongside your booking page. So if you don't want ads on your booking page, then you would have to upgrade to a premium version of Doodle. However, even on the free version of Doodle, you can do a lot more than just create a singular booking page. Now, if we head on over into the dashboard of Doodle, you can see we can create group polls, one-on-one -on -one meetings, as well as a sign-up sheet. And you can click on create doodle and instantly create any of these types of meetings. You can also see any of your upcoming events, whether those are bookings or meetings or any other type of event or scheduled appointments that you might have. Now, if you are looking to update doodle, you can update your plan on doodle to remove all types of branding as well as adverts. So on the free version, you can create unlimited group polls, signups. You can only create one booking page on the free version as well as one one-on-one -on -one type of meeting. Then on the pro version, starting at $6.95 per user per month, you have no types of adverts, custom branding, unlimited booking pages, one-on-ones, as well as Teams and WebEx web conferencing. Then you have Doodle Professional, where it allows you to get started for $8.95 per user per month with an admin console, rules and permissions, co-hosting, booking on behalf, as well as activity reports for all of your team members. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.